Here at Failgains, we often get asked about the difference between the Razor 2 and the Razor M, and which model is best in which situation. We're gonna answer these questions for you in this short video. Let's first explain the Razor concept. The Razor is a lifting chair that assembles around somebody who has had a non-injury fall to lift them from the floor. This greatly reduces the risks associated with lying on the floor for a long time waiting for an ambulance. Or indeed, untrained persons attempting to manually lift fallen persons. This is the Razor 2 the flagship lifting chair model. Faster, easier, and more stable than traditional lifting cushions. The Razor 2 is an ideal solution for transferring somebody who has fallen to a sitting or semi-standing position. And this is the Razor M. It's a stripped back version of the Razor 2, available at a lower price point. However, it does require a little physical effort to lift the fallen person. So which is best for you and your situation? Let's dive into the three key differences between the two models and what each means for you. The most obvious difference is the lifting method. The Razor 2 uses an electric motor. This is for organisations that are lifting fallen persons regularly and need to reduce manual handling. This would include response services, health and social care applications, and care homes. The Razor 2 is also good for private individuals who want the peace of mind they would always be able to lift the loved one as it takes next to no physical effort. The Razor M's manual crank operation is still very easy to use. However, it does take a bit more physical effort. If you're the kind of person that's mobile and strong enough to do the hoovering, you should be able to operate the Razor M. To show you the difference in lifting time, here is a side-by-side -side comparison. The Razor 2 takes just 30 seconds to lift a fallen person. This makes it ideal for busy health and care professionals such as ambulance trusts and telecare providers who need to make best use of their resources. The faster the response, the more people their workforce can help. For people lifting family or friends at home, the extra few minutes it takes to operate the Razor M is still an improvement on the potentially long delay their loved ones may endure while waiting for an ambulance and the potential medical complications this may cause. You'll need to consider how often you're likely to use the Razor the Razor M takes a couple of minutes of manual effort to lift a fallen person. If you're dealing with a frequent faller, the Razor 2 is going to be more appropriate. So now you have a good idea of which Razor is right for you. What's the next step? If you're interested in purchasing the Razor 2, get in contact with us and we will guide you through the process of booking a demonstration and training if needed. If you're interested in the Razor M, please visit the website and you can watch the video and you can purchase that online. If you need more information, you can check out our comparison article.